welcome dear learners and pharma professionals to the new video on maximum daily dose that is mdd part 2 in part 1 we have understood the basic basic understanding of the maximum daily dose why it is important and what are the implications now in this video i will try to explain the practical examples for maximum daily dose calculation the maximum daily dose is calculated mainly based on the body surface area and body weight generally the body weight of 60 kg is considered as normal body weight of a healthy human being then body surface area of 1.62 meter square is considered as a body surface area of normal healthy human being the reference of this i have taken from guidance for industry guidance for industry that is estimating the maximum safe starting dose in initial clinical trials for therapeutics in adult healthy volunteers the guidance was published by usfda in july 2005 the example is of capacitabin tablets that comes in 150 mg and 500 mg strength the doses and administration section of the reference product label or patient information leaflets gives the information that is on the screen standard starting dose for monotherapy the medicine is used for cancer treatment and the recommended doses uh, section describe the recommendations as the recommended dose of zeloda is 2 1250 mg per meter square administered orally twice daily that equals to 2500 mg per meter square total daily dose for 2 weeks that means the maximum daily dose is 2500 mg per meter square that is a total daily dose then in second statement it describes the dose as 1250 mg per meter square orally twice daily for 2 weeks so this also becomes 2500 mg per day now if you see in the table zeloda dose calculation according to body surface area dose level 1250 mg per meter square twice a day in one one column they have given surface area in meter square and in other column they have given total daily dose in mg the total daily dose divided by 2 to allow equal morning and evening doses that means whatever the dose is mentioned here that is required to be uh, divided into two doses that is the dose in morning and the dose in evening so if you see at the bottom highlighted as yellow the surface area of 2.18 meter squares gives total daily dose of 5600 mg so if you divide this dose the dose becomes two tablets of 150 mg strength and five tablets of 500 mg strength so dose is very used see mainly for the anti cancer products dose will be high so on your right side on the screen you can see the calculation total daily dose is 5600 mg in 24 hours 
so it is a mdd then daily dose is divided into two doses so two tablets of 150 mg becomes 300 mg and five tablets of 500 mg becomes 2500 mg the total one time dose is 2800 mg and which is equal to seven tablets now the second dose will be another seven tablets another dose will be 2800 mg so four tablets of 150 mg strength and 10 tablets of 500 mg strength this is the dose of capacitabine per day now see the second example which is based on the body weight the example is methotrexate tablets usp 2.5 mg the tablet strength is 2.5 mg and from the doses and administration section i have taken the disease condition or indication which gives the maximum daily dose and other indications i have not included here see the lymphomas in brukits Bruc tumor stage 1 and 2 methotrexate has produced prolonged remissions in some cases recommended doses is 10 to 25 mg per day orally for 4 to 8 days in stage 3 methotrexate is commonly given co-concomitantly with other anti tumor agents treatment in all stages usually consist of several courses of drug interposed with 7 to 10 day rest periods that means the therapy will have a break of 7 to 10 days and then the cycle will begin lip lymphosarcomas in stage 3 may respond to combined drug therapy with methotrexate given in doses of 0.625 to 2.5 mg per kg daily now the dose will be very very huge and if you calculate the dose of 0.625 mg and 2.5 mg per mg per kg daily the number of tablets will be much more now the average body weight can be taken as 60 kg if you consider 60 kg as a normal body weight and the dose as 0.625 mg the dose total dose will be 37.5 mg and the number of tablets will be 15 tablets per day then if you take 2.5 mg per kg daily as a dose and calculate it the total the amount will become 150 mg and if you calculate it it will become 60 tablets per day now the maximum daily dose is to be considered so maximum daily dose will be 150 mg per day which will give you 60 tablets per day for the tablet strength 2.5 mg now if you think is it possible to take 60 tablets per day or is it uh, really possible for any person or patient to take 60 tablets per day so how to handle such type of situation let's see in the next slide the best practices sometimes mdd is required to be calculated like we have seen in the previous slides calculation based on the body surface area and calculation based on the body weight of 60 kg see mdd is not always directly written in the reference product pil or reference product label we have to calculate it we have to check it we have to study the reference product label in detail then 
BSA and body weight other than normal recommendation to be looked into the label. Now, as I have mentioned earlier, 1.62 meter square body surface area is required to be considered for calculation. But sometimes the body surface area of above 1.62 meter square is also considered for calculation of the max daily dose. The number of doses units per day may seem to be impractical. Like in the case of methotrexate tablet 2.5 mg we have seen. So, in this situation, the regulatory agencies to be con contacted and the MDD required to be confirmed from them because MDD is required to calculate the impurity, calculate the residual solvent limits and other impurity limits and also the XEPN index. So, in the difficult situations where the MDD seems to be impractical or MDD seems to be very high, that time we have to connect to the regulatory authorities. So, this was the second part for uh, maximum daily dose calculation and I hope you have got some more information in this and other complex example and MDD calculations will be covered in the next parts. So, stay tuned to this channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.